Tonight, another cabinet member is resigning. This time, it's a key member of the White House pandemic response team. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more on that. Dick? More parting shots, Christina Maurice. Alex Azar is Secretary of Health and Human Services, an agency frequently criticized during the pandemic. Now he leaves criticizing his boss for what happened this past week. All of this means it's time to move on to the next phase of the vaccination campaign. Alex Azar was one of the most prominent faces of the president's COVID-19 team. Now he leaves taking a parting shot, saying that actions and rhetoric following the election during the past week threatened to tarnish legacies of this administration. In the bizarre final days of the Trump presidency, the man known as the My Pillow Guy, Mike Lindell, pillow salesman, was seen going in and out of the White House, reportedly giving the president evidence of election fraud. Mr. Trump is out of the spotlight while planning his White House exit strategy. Strategy. He plans to leave the White House Wednesday morning before the Biden inauguration, skipping all the traditional festivities. But he does plan a military style send off for himself just before his final flight on Air Force One. Mr. Trump's absence in the final days has left Vice President Mike Pence as the face of the administration. Pence has finally called his successor, Kamala Harris, to say congratulations. Have you spoken with Pence? Today in Delaware, President-elect Biden laid out his plan for the COVID-19 response. Truthfully, we remain in a very dark winter. Mr. Biden plans to use FEMA to mobilize thousands of staff members to create more vaccination sites, use the Defense Production Act to increase supplies, and train 100,000 new workers to administer shots. This is a time to set big goals. The president-elect also blasted some Republican members of Congress who didn't wear masks during the assault on the Capitol. What the hell is the matter with them? It's time to grow up. Alex Azar now follows two other cabinet officials out the door, Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao and Education Secretary Betsy DeVos. The head of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf, also resigned. Christina Maurice. Okay, Dick, thank you.